hello hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel Igbe here i hope everyone is doing well i hope you're having a fantastic day i am back with new remote job leads and in today's video we are going to be focusing primarily on a role that i recently encountered with united airlines in addition to the united airlines roles i do have other roles with hilton with marriott and many others okay but before i get to today's video i do want to give a congratulations shout out to Sadie Holland. Congratulations. Sadie got a role with UHC. We're very excited for you and thank you so much for coming back to share your success story with us and I wish you all the very best. Shirley Kahan also got a role as a health information specialist. So very, very excited for you. Shirley, best of luck to you and remember we are cheering you on. So for other people that may have job offers, interviews, please don't don't be shy. Come back and leave your testimonial. It's a source of encouragement for everyone. Also, I know that I've been getting a lot of feedback around United Health. Oh, you know, I haven't heard from them. I applied a while ago. Just keep trying. It's going to happen for you before you know it. Okay. So now let's get back to the video of today. The first role we are going to be exploring is with Marriott. So Marriott currently has a data entry clerk position that is open and accepting applications right now. This is a remote based position. One of the things I want to call out with Marriott is that you do not need to have any level of education to apply for Marriott. So they do not ask for any educational requirements for most of their positions, which is pretty great. So definitely give this position a try submit your applications right away because these tend to go very quickly data entry roles go very quickly so definitely submit if you are interested right away and with this position, what are some of the expectations? So with this position, you are going to be working very closely to enter information, read and visually verify information, enter and retrieve information from different databases. You're going to be verifying information in documents, reconciling information, making sure information are accurate and complete, documentation processes, making sure that they are being documented accurately, whatever you're giving on paper or in on an Excel kind of transferring those into the different databases and just making sure that the information are comparable and also that they match. So they want you to follow company policies. They want you to always act in a professional manner and be able to maintain confidentiality, proprietary information for the company and so forth. So that is really all they're asking with this position. Okay. California applicants, the salary range is 18 to $25 called Colorado, $18, New York City, Westchester County, just New York applicants in general, $18 to $25.20 and so forth. So Washington is also the same. Okay. So definitely check it out. The next position is titled Lead Archives Info and Data Entry Specialist. And it is with Warren Washington Albany Company. So this company, they are responsible for archiving stuff. So as you can see on here, you are going to to be responsible for making sure that different information that are being archived are accurate. They are asking for you to be minimum of 18 years old, valid driver's license, okay? Associate's degree, relevant advanced certification or degree is needed for this position or a minimum of two years in non-profit environment with advanced data entry or business experience is preferred. These are preferences, so it's not required. So demonstrate general knowledge and understanding of the data entry process, ability to work independently, working knowledge of Microsoft Office and so forth. So these are basically what is expected with this position. Okay. So this position is open and accepting applications right now. Definitely go ahead and submit your application if you feel the requirements meet your needs. Okay. The next position is with Hilton Grand Vacations. They are looking for a mid-level collector. This is a remote position, but they do want you to be bilingual in English and Japanese. You are going to be performing collection activity in accordance with the company and federal regulation, facilitate a maintenance of acceptable delinquency percentages as provided by financial management. You are going to help to maintain required levels of phone activity, contact percentages, 
really measuring those key performance indicators, KPIs. You're going to also legally, ethically, and confidentially handle any correspondence or payments to process and make sure that those payments are reconciling with records. You are going to provide effective leadership to the team in support of the supervisors and leads, okay? So the next position is with Cornell University. Cornell University is looking for e-Cornell casual enrollment representative. So this is a part-time position. They are looking for someone to come in and help with enrollment. So you are going to be helping them from an electronic perspective to review their enrollment records. You are going to be checking how the sales team is impacting their enrollment. So you're going to be working a lot with numbers evaluating those numbers based on a set score that they've established as an organization. So you're going to also be working with Salesforce. They're not requiring you to have experience with Salesforce, but if you do, I would definitely encourage you to make sure you call it out in your resume because that will make a difference. If you've used LinkedIn, call it out Facebook, call it out Calendly, call it out because those are relevant systems you're going to be utilizing in your role. Okay, so what are they requiring for this position? They want you to have high school diploma and one to three years of proven enrollment sales or related experience. They want you to be detail oriented, organized, able to move from one task to the next very quickly, strong computer and technical skills and so forth. And the pay rate for this position is $18 per hour. So that is it with the position with Cornell University. We're going to move on to the next role, which is with Aramac. Aramac is looking for a customer service clerk, and this position is a remote position. As you can tell, it's going to be a hybrid position between being on the phone and data entry. So you are going to be handling incoming calls, we facilitate and resolve issues with discrepancies from members responsible for auditing company service programs to an ensure compliance with 100% follow-up through customer callbacks, okay? So in addition to being on the phone to provide resolution, you are also going to be analyzing the different data that are provided in support of customer management. So you are going to be ensuring that the numbers add up and you are going to be working closely with other departments to get those data summarized into reports that can be shared with leadership. So what are the qualifications for this position? Three to five years of work experience preferred. High school diploma is required. Associate's degree preferred. So if you have associate's or bachelor's degree, definitely call those out on your resume. Microsoft Office experience with proficiency in Excel makes sense. So that is it for this position. And finally, we are at the United Airlines position. They're looking for a sales manager to work remotely. And this is a fully remote position. They're asking for three to five years equivalent experience with increasing levels of responsibility or two years of just airline sales or travel industry experience. So if you have worked in airlines before in any capacity, as long as it's two years, you should be able to actually submit application and qualify for this position. They are also asking for foundational understanding of airline sales, travel industry sales, proficiency in key business computer application. So again, Salesforce, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and so forth. You, you want to call all of that out in your resume because that is important. They want you to be assertive, energetic, results-oriented, ability to cultivate business partnerships, travel within assigned territory, comfortable with public speaking. They have preferences here as well. So if you have MBA, call it out because they are saying here those are preferred qualifications, not required. Three years of account management, experience or knowledge in finance and so forth, strong negotiation skills, knowledge and user experience of the company systems data resources you want to make sure you call those type of things out in your application and for this position according to my research the salary is between 45 and 80 
three thousand dollars because these two gave two different salary range so definitely check it out because depending on where you fall you could potentially earn more so that is always the base salary which means that potentially commissions bonuses and stuff like that which comes into play when you work in sales you can potentially accrue and earn up to $136,000 $136,000 per year. So that is pretty awesome guys. Okay. So, you know, at least guarantee that you have a base pay of between 45 and $83,000. You can even earn more than that and double your salary with all of the other things that could potentially be added based on how you do as an employee. Okay. So those are the roles guys. I hope you find these leads helpful. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already and turn your notification bell on so you get notified when I do post new videos. I definitely encourage all my subscribers, please turn your notification bell on so that you get notified by the way when these videos go up because you do not want to miss out on any of these opportunities, okay? And if you're here for the first time, don't be a stranger. Hit the subscribe button and join the family, okay guys? Really appreciate this community. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching the liking, commenting, all of this make doing this worthwhile. So I'm always excited to hear from you guys. So again, thank you guys so much till next time. Best of luck to you as you apply. Take care guys. Bye-bye.